um hi guys so this is where we left off in the previous video so in today's video i'll show you how to uh, you know add images instead of this uh, white square uh, block in the buttons and also i'll show you how to how you can add audio in the background so uh, let's start so for the images of these buttons obviously you need to download some images from the internet so i'll just open my browser now you can uh, download any image you like but uh, make sure that it is png format i suggest you go to pixabay.com here you can get uh, free images which are royalty free license so you don't need any licenses or you don't need to uh, give any author authority to someone so i'll search for um, pick mark so maybe i would say i'll get this one Okay, it looks good. I'll just click download and I'll download a PNG image. Now again, I'll download one more image for my uh, disable button. So I'll say cross. So here we have cross. I'll take this one. Now I'll download again this thing as PNG. So after both the files are downloaded, just open them and bring these two files into your project so i'll bring them bring them here so here are my files just uh, select the images that you uh, want to be applied on any ui and this is an important step so uh, after selecting the images on the right hand side in the inspector tab you have to change this texture type from default to sprite 2d and ui after doing that you can come down and hit the apply button and uh, these are now ready to use with UIs. So I'll show you how to do that. Now, let's say for enable button, I want this tick mark. So I'll select the enable button. And here you can see there's uh, in there's the image, right? Image component. And here we have a source image. So I'll just drag and drop this uh, tick mark into this checkbox. Now, obviously it is not looking good. Uh, it is like stretched out. So to fix that, we can just click on this preserve aspect and it will be of a proper size so i'll just make sure that the button is you know uh, properly sized like this and i can make it a little bit bigger like that now i'll just drag it and put it on the left side like this same thing i'll do with the disable now so i'll put this disable uh, this cross button over there i'll mark it, mark it as preserve aspect and uh, I'll just scale it accordingly and then I'll just drag it and put it here now we don't need the text element now so I'll just delete this uh, text that we have inside each of the buttons so this is how we add buttons now if I hit play as you can see uh, if I hit the cross button it is gone if I hit the right button it is uh, there so it is working as expected so now for the audio you can download most of the standard file formats will be supported on unity so if you are downloading mp3 or wave uh, it will be by default it will be supported so now uh, to put the audio so this is a audio file that i downloaded so i'll just drag and drop it in my unity editor and here is the file right so just you can click on it and you can listen to the audio here if i hit the play button now what I'll do is I'll uh, to play the song in the background what you can do you can just drag the audio and you put it here in the hierarchy so it came right and if you see now the in the object there is the audio source component which is referencing this audio clip right and we have many options here like mute and bypass effects and all those things that we don't need we need this loop functionality so we can check uh, mark it on so whenever the song ends it will again loop back from the beginning right and uh, we have some other pr uh, features like volume we can control the volume of the song uh, pitch is like you know uh, low pitch or high pitch you can change that using this pitch value then uh, there are this spatial blend which is used when you have maybe a character speaking so that time you want the spatial blend to be 3d so that you can here where the audio is coming from but because this is a background song we don't need any directionality to it 
it can just play uh, wherever it is so I'll keep it as is now I'll hit the play button and as you can see that uh, the background music is playing right so this is how you add the sounds uh, to unity